Hi kids, welcome to Experiment and Create, Ms. Rosa's Little Science Corner. Since this week's topic is I am a scientist, we come up with this awesome experiment, Growing Gummy Bears Science. To do this, we will need the following things you can find at home. Two small bowls, some water, salt. Stub and a pot to heat the water, gummy bears, a fridge, and tons of patience and imagination. Let's start. 1. In this candy science experiment, we compare gummy bears left in water to those placed in salt water. To get started, we need to make about a cup of supersaturated salt water solution. So we add salt a little bit at a time to a cup of boiling water until no more salt dissolved. Please use caution when working with hot water. 2. Once the water couldn't hold any more salt, let it cool in the fridge. If you use warm water for your experiment, you could melt your gummy bears. 3. When the salt water cooled, it is time to fill the bowls. Kids can pour a little salt water in one bowl and plain tap water in another. 4. Next, gather your gummy bears and compare them to pick ones of similar size. 5. Then place a couple of red gummy bears in the salted water and another couple of green ones in the plain water. Remember, you need to save the remaining gummy bears, yellow ones as the control to compare what happens to the ones you put in the different water solutions. 6. Now all you have to do is wait. If you start the experiment in the evening, you will have to wait overnight. You will need to let the gummy bears soak for several hours, but remember not to leave them for longer than overnight or they might fall apart. 7. This is what you will find after the waiting time. The yellow bear is the control, the red bear is the one soaked in salted water, and the green bear is the one soaked in plain water. Your kid will be surprised to see how much bigger the bears soaked in plain water will become. The child will notice the bear soaked in salt water will be a little bit bigger but not that much. And this is how the science behind growing gummy bears is revealed. To make gummy bears, sugar, gelatin, and flavor are dissolved in a warm water solution. As the solution cools, water leaves the gelatin solution and the bears become firm but chewy. Not all the water leaves the gelatin, however, otherwise the gummy bears will be rock hard. This little bit of water makes the gummy bears act as a solution of water, one with a lot of sugar dissolved on in it. And this is how the science behind growing gummy bears is revealed part 2. The plain water in the bowl, however, has very little dissolved in it. Different solutions of water will want to balance each other. The plain water with very little dissolved in it will move toward the solution of water with a lot of dissolved in it, the gummy bear. This movement of a solvent from one of lower concentration to higher concentration is called osmosis. The force behind that movement of water is called osmotic pressure. And this is how the science behind growing gummy bears is revealed part 3. In the bowl with the salt water, you will try to balance the amount of stuff salt dissolved in the water with the amount of sugar dissolved in the gummy bear. Since the gummy bear placed in the salt water solution will expand a little bit, we know our salt water solution have a lot dissolved in it but not quite as much as the gummy bear do. So a little water will move into the gummy bear to balance the two solutions. We wish to thank to Malia Hollowell and Play Dotu Plato for making to perform this experiment. At Play Dotu Plato, give her a follow on Instagram. 
And this is it. See you next week for more and delicious science in Miss Rosa Little Science Corner. Bye-bye.